Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books. We have a really exciting announcement today, but first let me tell you that my very favorite book of 2020, The Night Watchman by Louise Erdrich, is out in paperback today. So if you haven't already read this, read this book, please do, it's really fantastic. And then I'm very excited about Jungle Night by Sandy Boynton. And uh, Sandy is a good friend of mine. And a couple of years ago, I introduced her to another good friend of mine, this guy, Yo-Yo Ma. And they partnered together on this book. And there is a download. So if you buy the book, you can hear the download of Yo-Yo playing special jungle night snores of the animals and lullabies. It's spectacular. We got Sandy Boynton signed book plates that she made just for us. And Sandy and I are gonna do an event at six o'clock Monday night for Jungle Night. Now, this is the really exciting part. Sparky, you know, he works hard. He has a lot of responsibilities on his shoulders and he needs help, right? Everybody needs help. So we've hired a new intern and we're hoping if he works out that he's gonna grow up and be a full-fledged shop dog. Lindsay's here to tell you about Sparky's new intern. Lindsay? Hi y'all. Um, please meet Barnabas. He's about to take his morning nap, so um, he's a little sleepy, but this is how his face looks all the time. And after you meet Barnabas, um, he's gonna help me talk about two new releases today while he chews my finger. Um, one book I'm really excited about that comes out today is Red Island House by Andrea Lee. Uh, this novel follows a couple, an African-American professor who is married to an Italian man as they vacation in their summer home in Madagascar. Um, it's a beautiful reckoning with race and what it means to vacation in somebody else's home country. The other book that I would like to talk to you about before Barnabas falls asleep is Liberty by Caitlin Greenidge. Uh, this is Caitlin's first book since winning the MacArthur Genius Grant. It is set in post-reconstruction Brooklyn, um, and it shows every reason why she won the MacArthur Genius Grant and deserves to win so many more awards. So now I'm going to put Barnabas to sleep and, well, to take a nap, and hand it over to Elise. I have to follow the dog, so I don't know if that's a great position to be in, but hello everyone and thanks, Lindsay. We have a week's worth of great events tonight. Lisa Scottolini. Who doesn't love Lisa Scottolini? This is a departure from her usual crime fiction. This is historical fiction, and it's loyalty and loss and family and food and love and war, and it's all set against the backdrop of World War II and the Nazi invasion of Rome. Tonight, the Parnassus Facebook page, 6 p.m. Central, in conversation with Paula McLean. Then we have Anthea Butler. This will be Thursday evening. And this is a very compelling book that Anthea Butler has written. White Evan, oh, I didn't say the name of this, I'm sorry. Lisa Scottolini, and the name is Eternal, comes out today. We do have signed copies while they last. So come to Parnassus and purchase your books. Now to Anthea Butler. White Evangelical Racism, The Politics of Morality in America. This will be Thursday night. This is a compelling book about religion, religious devotion and racism. She's in conversation with Rob Smiantana. Rob, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And that's going to be on the Parnassus Facebook page as well. Thursday night, 6 p.m. Central. Friday, we are resurrecting Salon at 615. So many of you have been asking us about what happened to the salons. So we're partnering Parnassus Books with the National Public Library, the Public Library Foundation, Humanities, Tennessee, and BookPage to bring you Rob Kenner, an original editor for Vibe Magazine who wrote this book, The Marathon Don't Stop, The Life and Times of Nipsey Hussle. This is a great biography about a man who influenced a generation he was a community advocate, and he was a successful business person, and he was a rapper. And he will be in conversation with the brilliant Stephen Lewis. So another partner for this event is the National Museum of African American Music. So a week's worth of wonderful events. They are all on 
the Parnassus Facebook page. If you don't, if you are unable to see it at the time, then find it archived on the Facebook page under videos. And with that, I will turn it over to Rayanne. Hi, everybody. I am so excited that the Parnassus Next Pick for March comes out today. This is Your Heart, My Sky by Margarita Engel. This is a book uh, set in 1991 Cuba, a novel in verse about two teens brought together by a dog. They are avoiding the work camp that they are supposed to go to for the summer and scavenging for food for their families. It's based on the author's visits to her family in Cuba. We have a few additional signed copies. In middle grade, we have The Stolen Prince of Cloudburst by Jacqueline Moriarty. This is a book about a middle child ignored by her family. When she returns to school, all of her friends are missing, missing and this, the mountains around the school are beginning to turn dark. In The Wingfeather Saga by singer-songwriter Nashvillian Andrew Peterson, we have Wingfeather Tales, new in the series. And in the Dogman series, Dogman Mothering Heights, buy the book, get a sticker. By Catherine Applegate, a new chapter book series, Doggo and Pupper. You know we're dog people at Parnassus. This is a chapter book about an old dog whose family gets a new puppy. And a couple of picture books today, Someone Builds the Dream by Lisa Wheeler, illustrated by Lauren Long. This is a beautiful picture book about people who create and build things from bridges to houses to stories. And The Nice Dream Truck by Beth Ferry and Bridget Berger. This is a bedtime story with a twist. It's a story about a dream truck that goes around offering sweet dreams. Thanks so much for listening, and please visit us at ParnassusBooks.net. Thanks.